Innovators and Innovators, Dr. Steve Diazio here sending you a message. Wanted to give an update about how things are going and how it prepares or relates to our course here at Creativity and Innovation. And I think today's situation that the world is facing, America is facing, businesses are facing, individuals are facing, is very much tied to what we're trying to teach and learn about, this idea of creativity and innovation. How are we going to solve challenging problems? Can't be using the same historical old mindset to follow up with new solutions to challenging problems. How are we going to deliver new businesses, services, etc.? cetera, um, provide ventilators, masks that are under undersupplied, and how we're going to manufacture those. So the role of innovation is very important, and that's why we're here to learn it and and to experience a bit about what, what that means. Um, many of you who go on to major in entrepreneurship, which I know many of you are, uh, we will expand this idea of what innovation is, how it ties, how open innovation can create more masks at a lower cost, how they can create new ventilators, etc. But, you know, what we're learning is exactly what the president is facing, businesses, Airlines that are going out of business, how are they going to compete? How are hospitals, hotels, car companies, you name it, they're all impacted and they have to innovate and be creative to solve the challenges and, and problems that they're facing. This is why we teach this class. This is why it's important to healthcare people, business owners, big business, small business, all industries, and that's why we're teaching this course. So uh, to recap, this is an online course, nothing is changing. All content is delivered online, you, you consume it online, and you submit it to Canvas via the online virtual uh, portal. Nothing has changed. Just to highlight, you guys should be covering the, the last big module of understanding innovation, creativity, how it connects to entrepreneurship and innovation, and moving forward, creating a your part three of the creativity uh, assessment, using the PowerPoint slides. We'll touch on what is innovation, which is very relevant right now. Uh, we'll talk about the high levels. If you want to experience and learn more, come take my other classes, scalability and student consulting. You will go deep dives into how companies, small businesses, medium-sized businesses and individuals innovate and create businesses and or new products and services. On March 24th, you still have your Project B, Journal 3, your video one, and response video. You guys have been crushing it. Now that you have time at home, I hope that you guys continue to push the boundaries further on how you can be creative. These are videos not just to reflect on what you're learning, but a tool for you to demonstrate your creativity. Next, we talk about Surrealism and Dali. You download the app and you watch that. Uh, there's two apps. One is vir virtual, 3D virtual. And one is just a normal 2D. Um, the 2D is fine and I provide some commentary. And then finally, creativity here in St. Pete and Tampa and the innovators. Um, you have the part four of the creative assessment, another uh, Project B video that you have to create, and then the reverse um, multiple choice exam that you are to create. So nothing has changed. And I hope you realize that everything that's happening today ties to this class. It's important. So I'm here with you. If you have questions, please uh, enter them below. Give a thumbs up to support the class, support everyone. And so I know that you're reading and watching this video. So again, I'm here with you. Uh, I couldn't be more proud with the students and the work that's being made. I'm here. If you want to reach out, please do. I'm here with you on this journey and keep continuing to practice creativity, to innovate and see how all of this relates to these topics that we're talking about. So again, be safe. Look forward to your videos and I'm here with you.